Hello, it's Glenn from SmartBurn. I'd like to talk about fire bricks and the use of a fire brick in conjunction with our SmartBurn, which is a question we often get asked and we've, um, we talk about that in our literature. Knowing that the ingredients inside the SmartBurn are liquid when it's hot, it's important the tube stays flat and level, and it's also important that the holes in the end don't get buried in ash so that the vapours from the SmartBurn can release. Placing the SmartBurn on a fire brick can elevate the SmartBurn up in the firebox um, to keep the ends of the smart burn higher up out of the ash and keep the smart burn a little bit more protected from logs moving around inside the firebox. Just want to talk about fire bricks themselves for a moment. Fire bricks are kilned to a higher temperature and contain less moisture than a regular house brick um, or a paving brick. And for that reason, they're designed specifically for high temperature combustion wood heaters um, as a liner. Fire bricks are um, available at all heating stores that sell uh, new wood heaters, they're carried as a spare part. They're also available at a lot of hardware stores that sell um, wood heaters um, as well, and they're quite cheap to buy. Please don't place a regular house brick or a paving brick inside your firebox. They do contain more moisture and there is a risk they can explode. Um, it's not a good safety idea. With the fire brick, you want to place that to the side of your firebox, um, to the front, um, and then sit the smart burn um, on top of that. Here I'm actually using two fire bricks because we cut some down to a smaller size and that just elevates the smart burn up even higher. So thank you for purchasing the smart burn and uh, if you can, it's advisable but not essential um, to place the smart burn on a fire.